everyone, and welcome back to another Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight episode. And as I'm sure you guys know, I have two more incredible artists to share with you today. They are both active Meta Jungle members and just really, really great additions to the NFT space. So with that, let's go on ahead and get into it. The first NFT artist we are going to be talking about today is Onar Errol. And Onar is a digital artist based out of Instable, Turkey. Uh, he does say that he's been interested in drawing and painting since his childhood, and he believes this stems from him always being a curious child. As he got older, he started playing with pencil drawing, watercolor, and acrylic painting, and eventually started art professionally in 2014. He is a lifestyle, fashion, and travel blogger, and generally creates content for his blog page and social media accounts regarding fashion and his hobbies. So let's go ahead and learn more about these hobbies from Onar himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT digital artist Onar Erol. Hello, I am Onar Erol. I am from Turkey, living in Istanbul, being a blogger since 2009. I generally create content for my blog and social media account regarding fashion, art, travel, as well as my hobbies. My interest in drawing and painting started from my childhood. I have been always a curious child. I am dealing with pencil drawing, watercolor, and acrylic paint for many years. I started digital painting when Snapchat application was very popular. I created my first digital art collection by using Snapchat tools in 2014. Those years, this was the first collection exhibited in Turkey digitally. The answer of why and how I met with an FTC page is of course my curiosity. My curiosity always feeds my creativity. At first I joined NFT Space in May 2021 with my character Arthur. Arthur was created by me before my journey started in NFT. Indeed, Arthur is also a travel blogger and curious like me. He loves traveling, learning new things, he is fond of art as well. And then I created Carla as a familiar friend for art. Both of them are traveling virtually in some places. They surprisingly may me a certain location or a city if it is a special day or a festival. For me, collectors may find something from their life. Pieces of Arthur and Carla's collection may wake up their thoughts and nice memories. By somebody feel their first love, the others, the energy of the cities that Arthur and Carla travel. I hope you can find something special for you from Arthur's and Carla's collection. Thank you. This video was so, so great. I loved all the behind the scenes that Onar added to this and how well he dived into his life. Um, also, how cool was it that his first digital art uh, collection was created on Snapchat? I don't know if you guys have ever tried to draw on Snapchat, but I can't even draw an arrow. So major, major props and respect for that. Um, but I really think it's so cool to see how his job... Um, as a lifestyle fashion and travel blogger influences his work. So let's go on ahead and check out his work. And here we are on Onar's OpenSea profile. Um, as you can see, he has three different collections. They are Arto NFT, Carla NFT, and 23 Kaleidoscope Photography. Uh, let's go on ahead and check out 23 Ka Kaleidoscope Photography. This collection is made up of 23 items. Uh, currently, they are all available with a floor of 0.01 ETH. This collection's really cool. I like how each photo is created of new harmonies, new emotions, new colors, and combinations. Uh, this really communicates well with his artist statement, where he's saying that this collection is inspired by how nothing ever happens the exact same twice. So I think that's really, really cool. Uh, but let's go on ahead and take a look at Carla NFT. This collection's made up of 20 items with two owners and a floor price of 0.03 ETH. Um, I just really, really love this collection. I love that Onar uses a real-life fashion and travel blogger to inspire these creations. Um, I picture it being one of his friends that he travels with. Um, but I can just imagine Carla as an actual blogger in these places wearing these outfits and all this commotion happening around her. Um, and I just really think that's so, so cool. And the same thing kind of goes with Ardo. So let's go on ahead and take a look at Ardo NFT. This collection is made up of 34 items with 9 owners and a floor price of 0.03 ETH. 
Um, I just, I love, love, love this collection. I love to imagine Ardo at all these places alongside Onar. Um, I love how well you can recognize most of these places by the backgrounds and how well Ardo's outfits go along with what we might know of these places. So even if you haven't visited these places, um, kind of what you know about their cultures or um, like associate with them, uh, Onar does a really, really great job at putting into like Ardo's pictures and stuff. So I think that's really cool. But um, for example, like let's go on ahead and take a look at the colors in this piece. It's called Ardo and Barcelona and it's owned by Alpha Trilogy. Uh, I've personally never been to Barcelona, but from what I've seen in pictures and movies and um, things like that, it just makes me think of what it would actually look like. It's very colorful and very lively, uh, which I feel like is always associated with Barcelona. Um, but Honestly, I just really, really love this collection, and I love the attention to detail and the outfits and the backgrounds and Ardo's props, and I just, I really, really love this work. Um, but let's go on ahead and take a look at the photo that Onar shared with us, that if collectors were viewing his pieces for the first time, he feels like would really showcase his work. And uh, when asked why he chose this piece, he says that Ardo is his reflection in the digital world. He's also a travel blogger and curious like him. He loves traveling, learning new things, and he's fond as art, and he is fond of art as well. And I just think that's so fun that he kind of uses um, Arto as his persona in the Web three space. So uh, I love that. I love his work. Uh, but Onar joined the NFT space in May 2021, and he's had a great journey so far. I've really enjoyed getting to see the progression of Arto and Carla, and I look forward to see where they go next in Web three. So thank you, Onar, so much for sharing your work with us and for letting me uh, have a little glimpse into your life um, outside of the Web3 space, but also inside the Web3 space. I've had so much fun getting to know you better and getting to know Carlo or Carla and Ar Arto better. Um, and I just really appreciate you letting me share this with other people. So thank you again so much. The next NFT artist we're going to be talking about today is Armin Sarlong. Uh, Armin is a nature and landscape photographer from France. He started photography full-time 15 years ago, but he's always had a passion for it. Uh, Armin's father was actually a pro photographer, and he says he remembers sneaking into his darkroom when he was a kid and watching the magic as the photo appears on uh, the white sheet. And this led him to becoming an assistant photographer for his dad around the age of 20 and learning about professional shooting from him. Uh, Arben does say that he originally specialized in studio and reportage photography, but has recently switched to his love of nature photography. Uh, he does say that being alone in the most remorseful places and translating his feelings of the moment through his images is what motivates him to shoot these photos. So let's go ahead and learn more from Armin himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Armin Sarlong. Hello, I'm Armin Sarlong, nature and landscape photographer from France. Uh, nice to meet you all and thanks Meta Jungle for the opportunity to present myself. Um, my photographic approach is about capturing uh, the infinite artistic expression of nature. Um, what it mean? Uh, it it means that I keep my mind open to capture almost anything that I feel is natural, beautiful, inspiring, and that can be the vector of my stories, of my emotions, and also can be the vector of um, some important message that need to be told about uh, nature conservation and the value of capturing images of places that might be disappeared uh, very soon. Um, I started photography uh, as a kid actually with my dad. He was a professional photographer, so he told me a lot when I was a kid. Um, and then uh, I started as a full-time commercial photographer 15 years ago. And um, uh, I loved it, but a uh, few years ago I had this need uh, to, to really spend my time uh, on, uh, on my art, you know. I, I always created uh, artistic photography, but uh, it wasn't uh, my job. So at some point uh, I needed to, to spend all my time to do that. 
Well, since that it went pretty well. I, I won a lot of awards, I included some big ones. Uh, I had the chance to be featured and published and exhibited by a very important uh, media and museum and photography festival. Uh, I'm super proud about that. Um, I'm in the space uh, since uh, October and uh, I have some work on Foundation, OpenSea and Slavica. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the time uh, to present myself. Bye bye! Wow, Armin did such a great job in his video. I had so much fun getting to know him more through it. Um, I feel like you can really see his love for nature uh, through this video and his pieces. And it makes you realize even more why he believes that sharing the beauty of our natural world can help people connect more with it. Uh, but let's go on ahead and check out his award-winning work. So here we are on Armin's OpenSea profile. As you can see, he has three collections. They are Liquid Movements, Panoramic World, Worlds and Armin Sirlong editions. Uh, but let's go on ahead and take a look at Liquid Movements. This is Armin's Genesis collection. It's made up of nine items and currently they are all available. Um, although they, we are viewing them on OpenSea, this collection is actually available on Solica. I really love all the different colors in this collection. Um, I love the sense of calmness, calmness that I get from viewing these pieces. Um, and I just think Armin does such a great job in this collection of telling us why he's captivated by these types of photos and why he loves capturing these shots in the movements of water. Um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at his Panoramic Worlds collection. This is Armin's most recent collection, and it is currently made up of six items with three different owners and a floor price of 0.35 ETH, but eventually it will be made up of nine items. Armin's been releasing these in drops of three, and I think that's a really, really cool idea. The first three sold out quickly, and he actually just released the next three, um, so four through six. And I absolutely love this collection. I love these pieces. They're all so unique, impactful, and just so full of color. Uh, but let's take a closer look at Rebirth. This piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy, and it's an incredible piece. His ability to capture all these details and colors and, diman and dimensions is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. I just, I think these are incredible. I love these pieces. Uh, but he also just does such a great job at his descriptions. Uh, he does include all the basic things that we ask for, but then he does an outstanding job at telling the story of these pieces. Another cool thing Armin does with this collection, though, is build hype for each drop by creating unique and exciting videos to promote this collection and pieces, which I just think is so cool. He posts them before he drops the pieces, and they're just so cool. They make you so excited for the pieces, and I absolutely love it. I thought it was such a cool um, thing to do. But uh, let's go on ahead and take a look at his third collection, Armin Salong Editions. And you'll notice another really cool thing that he's doing with his Panoramic Worlds collection is providing an airdrop to the collectors. So he currently has one piece titled Natural Interaction, and this is an edition of nine that he's airdropping to the collectors of Panoramic Worlds collection, which um, is also really cool to me. So I just, I don't know, I really, really love his work, and I really think that uh, the different approaches he's taking is um, definitely unique and really cool. So uh, thank you, Armin, for sharing it with us. But let's go on ahead and take a look at the piece that he shared that he said if collectors were viewing his work for the first time, he feels like would be a really good um, showing of his work and his style. And when asked why he chose this photo, he says that it's also the first nature image for which he got real international recognition, opening new opportunities for his career. It's been a decisive image, and he's not sure where he would be now if he had never captured this scene. And I understand why. I think it's an incredible photo. I love almost the... Not the clash, but I, lo I love almost the fight between light and dark in this photo. Um, I think it's incredible. I think they go so well to one another, but I just, I think it's outstanding. I love how if you look at the left, it's almost like you're looking at one thing. And if you look at the right, you're looking at another. It's just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, but Armin first discovered the NFT space in June of 2021 and he started connecting with people, but he decided to prioritize some travel opportunities and create new images. Um, so then he re-entered the space last October, and he discovered a strong community that he instantly fell in love with and has been hooked since. 
He says that the whole concept of helping each other and trying to share the benefits of the space we are building is something he really resonates with and respects. And I believe this because he proves this every single day. Armin's such a great addition to the space, and he's always willing to help anybody any chance he can or any chance he can get. And um, I'm just so glad I got to know him. I'm so glad he's a member of the Meta Jungle. He's actually one of our mods, and he does such a great job of communicating and just helping and uh, answering questions and really, like he said, sharing the benefits of the space that we're all building together. Um, but I'm so glad that I got the chance to know him more and learn more about his work and um, get the chance to share him as as well as Onar with all of you guys. Um, I love doing these artist spotlight videos and I love connecting with the artists and getting to learn more, not just about their art, but them and their journey. It's it's incredible. So if you are interested in connecting with me and um, allowing me the chance to show uh, more people your art or um, being one of our artist spotlights, please reach out to me. It's bossmom99 on Twitter and Discord. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, with that, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. I look forward to introducing you guys to some more artists, and I'll see you next time. Bye.